guys i am olu bukola if you're just joining us for the very first time welcome on my channel today i don't know why i'm calling my full name but whatever the vibe is hey guys when i told you guys to tell me or to list down so that you people want me to review i got three top requests and today i am finally talking about the last one i have talked about the suka papaya i've talked about extracts and today is for ashanti i don't know let me know how you guys pronounce it in the comment section I pronounce it as Ashanti because I don't want my teeth to remove. But I've had some people pronounce it as Ashanti that there's no HD. I don't care. If in as much as you get the memo, you understand what I'm talking about, then I don't have to worry that much. In today's video, I'll be reviewing to you guys the Ashanti Papaya Extract Lightning Soap. I know this soap is not new. This soap has been in the market for decades. And you guys, I'm just going to talk on the review, what you should expect. Even reviews from other people because it's a common soap. A lot of people are using it. The very first time I used this soap was back in school. I think 100 level. Was it 100 level or even during my pre-degree days? And I'm just going to talk on a few things that I know about this particular soap. If you are not new on my channel, you might have seen me praise Ashanti Scrub a whole lot. And I'm not even going to lie. Ashanti products are very, very effective. One thing I want you guys to know is Ashanti is a Thailand product. So even if it is written on it that it is a whitening, lightening, it's not going to do that. I talked about that in my last video. Thailand products don't do what they write on it, but they do a very good job on your skin. The fact that Charlie here in Nigeria, when we see whitening, we're expecting like six, seven shades and just change your skin to a white skin, which is not possible. They are writing it all that they are writing all that there for their own people. For us, it doesn't work like that on our skin. Ashanti scrub, especially their turmeric scrub and their tamarind one, is very, very effective. I remember buying a lot from my mom, and the last one she got, I actually mixed it without telling her. So she was like, What are you mixing this scrub? Is this one different? And how amazing it is. Even looking at the fact that she's older and she can still tell that her skin looks good with Ashanti, all I did was to mix it with. Um, malic acid and as well turmeric if you want to know how you can mix it like that i have other videos that you can refer to i've made a whole lot of video on how you can use ashanti scrub for a very good so today we are talking about the soap the soap is a very good moisturizing soap one thing you're going to notice about the soap when you start using it is that it is slimy i have used it before because it has honey it has vitamin c it has papaya extract they have the one for carrots they have the one for tamarind they have the one for for i think goat meat the thing about ashanti is they use plant extract a lot to make their product so which make it very safe and a natural lightning ingredient for you if you guys are hearing any sound like chicken please i do not have control over this okay so yes they use um they use plant extract for their product which make it super effective and super safe to be used on the skin one thing again i notice about ashanti is that ashanti can actually be used on the face it is not drying it is not going to strip off your skin like i said it is very very slimy i've seen a lot of people complain about the fact that kodi acid melts very fast have you seen ashanti soap ashanti melts like it's on a race like it's in a competition with another soap so one thing you should know is when you're using ashanti please always put it in a place that water is not going to touch it because by the time you wake up the following morning you might be meeting like one quarter of your soap tape. ashanti melts very fast and it is good for acne and wrinkle on the body it contains only vitamin c papaya extra this makes it very suitable and very okay to be used on the skin and on the body it doesn't lighten with just one bar because it is written as a lightning soap it is not like maybe just one bar is going to give you the best result like i said earlier thailand products are effective and they work on a slow pace on our skin a consistent usage is actually what is going to give you the good results that you're looking for so if you want to try ashanti product if you just use one soap and you're expecting the best out of it i am sorry you are on the wrong soap or you're on the wrong side of a skincare product i want you to stay consistent and use it for a long time just give it about like three months consistent usage and you're going to love your skin one thing this soap is safe for is if you're somebody who always have your routine twice a day like you have your morning routine you have your night that means you have your bath in the morning and in the, and in the night which is always advisable for women i'm just going to say ashanti is safe to be used both morning and night i think that's another question i get a lot about soap it is safe to use both in the morning and at night so it is very slimy when you use it your skin is going to feel very slimy like i said the soap itself is slimy so it's always like 
very slimy on the skin and it foams a lot that's another thing about ashant and i think maybe that's the reason why it just wears off so fast so it foams a lot and it feels like slimy on the skin and you can always go in with your maybe um, nivea um, product or nivea um, body lotion you can even go in with your extra body lotion as well these are shanty soap as well with um nivea products these are just go in with good moisturizing product it's going to leave your skin soft one thing i notice is ashanti leave the skin soft so it's not that soap that's going to strip up all the good oils on your skin and leave your skin dry and flaky so even if you are dark if you are light it can basically be used by everybody as well it is so common in majority of the supermarkets you're going to come across ashanti extract and silk up apart. these are soap that are very very common so you might be thinking of which one to use honestly i don't really have a favorite the three are so good if you want reviews on other on the other soaps that i mentioned you can go check my previous video as well ashanti is very very safe on the skin very mild and can be used on the face those people who don't want to split or use separate soap for their face and separate soap for their body ashanti is one soap that can be used both on the face and on the body but make sure you're going in with a good moisturizer on your face and as well a good sunscreen as written on it again is that it contains a hair which i think is the reason why it actually helps with acne so this is a soap that can help you if you have acne on your face if you have wrinkle on your face let consistency be your number one goal when you're using all of this product to have a very good result if i am to rate ashanti over 10 i am going to be giving ashanti a solid 8.5 over 10. it is an amazing soap just that i don't like how it melts so if you are not really that okay if you are a student you can still try and manage and use it for like two weeks but the truth is it melts very fast because i use dudu osu and dudu osu just one dudu osu can last me for a month so that's why i said ashanti melts very very fast if you've ever used ashanti before in the comment section let me know in the comment section same thing goes to the shower gel as well i don't need to split this video into two the shower gel to me is not as effective as the bath soap the shower gel is um very very okay to soak soap so it is not really as effective as this you know if you've ever used the shower gel before but i have a lot of people saying they like the shower gel as well that you're going to notice about ashanti soap is that it smells very nice it smells fruity like it's going to leave your bathroom smelling pretty nice you're going to love the smell that's one thing i like about it as well and i think people who use who make mulatto soap actually add it to their soap because of the smell so yes if you have used the soap before if you have used the shower gel before let me know in the comment section and let others know in the comment section how it works for you it's been long i used it but it was nice and very very soft i love the fact that it doesn't make my skin feel dry when i use it and it's so slimy and so and it, it lathers so well so let me know how it works for you guys in the comment section if you watch me to this point please smash the subscribe button for more videos and turn your bell notification on as well and i am going to see you guys in the next one bye guys